a short introduction to the life, work and books of Roy Anderson. Welcome and thank you for joining me here. As a child in school, I understood very little. My marks were always amongst the worst in any class. When my final examinations came, after 12 years of schooling, I failed every single one. I went back into education at 19 and was an immediate success. My marks were top in all the classes I took part in, and when I finished three years of education, I had some of the very highest grades in all of my examinations. At 17, I was a total academic failure. At 23, I was incredibly successful in academia. I have dedicated the past 40 years of my life to the aim that no child would fail in school as I once had done. I have devoted decades of my life to research into the workings of education, psychology, social and political science, neurology, genetics and molecular science. I taught in schools around the world, I lecture globally and I am the guest lecturer in international conferences about how to improve education. The books that I present to you explain how school really works, how the brain really learns, how children could be better prepared for school and better supported by their parents, how teachers could teach in a new and a better way, and how we can help the mind of all children gain greater understanding in their lessons and develop the higher reasoning that will be required of them in the AI world they must learn to survive in. These books are said by professors around the world to be some of the best written about school, society and learning. They are academically researched, but they are written in the daily language of any parent. My hope is that all will be able to read, understand and enjoy the knowledge that I have amassed over 40 years and wish to share with you as we seek to help every child in every corner of the world learn better. Consider a class of students, all seemingly studying. We may say they are learning, but what fleeting thoughts does each have that bring sensitivity to this act? By their emotions, the mind of each examines words and meanings to move axons in their brain. Each axon moving snake-like fashion, seeking the best neuron to connect to and form a network of understanding. By their feelings of happy, sad, worried, bullied, lonely, hurt, bored, neurotransmitters rise or fall to hinder or accelerate the formation of these networks and the value of the information moving through them to give each their own sensitivity of understanding each hoping to be the best student, but never understanding what they are doing wrong not to be so. Learning, we shall read, is not inborn. It is alive to the drives, hopes and dreams of each, as lesson follows lesson. Lost, bored and distracted, each fails to understand the processing that is being made of them for their life. The books that follow give many new thoughts about parenting, teaching and learning. We hope you enjoy them.